God bless you. Praise the Lord, saints of the Most High, all the believers and all those who want to be believers. Thank you so much for allowing us to partner with you for this Blessing Israel event. This is a great time to be in the body of Christ. You know, I was thinking the other day about this moment, this time, and a, a word, a phrase came across my spirit, not my mind, but my spirit. I'm blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. There has never been a time in our world that the African-American church can build bridges of collaboration, of understanding and support for Israel and the Jewish community like now. The African-American church can and must make the difference. The reason the black church must lay aside any difference with the Jewish community is because we must embrace that biblical mandate to support the Jewish people. Our communities historically have mirrored tragedies and experienced bondages and pain and hardship. Do you realize almost 12 million African slaves were captured and treated inhumanely during the period of slavery in America? And approximately 6 million Jews perished during the Holocaust in Nazi Germany. The great civil rights leader, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King stated, we will live together as brothers, and I put in parentheses sisters, or we will perish as fools. Currently, there are reports of the rise in racial hatred and anti-Semitism across our nation. Dr. King was interviewed in January 1965 and stated, how could there be anti-Semitism among Negroes? When our Jewish friends have demonstrated their commitment to the principle of tolerance and brotherhood, not only in the form of sizable contributions, but in many other tangible ways, often at great sacrifice. So it would be impossible to record the, their contributions that the Jewish people have made towards the Negro struggle for freedom. It has been so great. The mandate and the promises that are found in Scripture are found in Genesis 12, 1 through 3. I want to read that. Now the Lord said to Abram, go from your country and from your kindred and your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. See, God wants to bless his people and make their name great. That word nation means ethnos, where we get the word ethnicity. Second verse, third verse says, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. And in you, all families of the earth will be blessed. You are blessed to be a blessing. And there are two main reasons to bless Israel and the Jewish people. Number one, it's biblical. And number two, it's moral. And according to Isaiah 58, we are called to provide clothing for the naked, shelter for the homeless, and food for the hungry. So it is my heart's cry today that you would consider as a believer, and it is my heart's cry that the consciousness of the African-American churches across this nation and the world would hear our clarion call that declares it's time for us to lay aside our differences and it's time for us to rebuild the bridge between our two communities and be a beacon of light to the world and be a blessing to Israel. I pray that God would move on your heart today and encourage you to give and be a blessing to Israel. God bless you.